You're a pack of fools! Every last one of you! And you... You believe your son is safe? I will find him. I will find him. I will find him, Mara. I will find him! Hey yo, what's up guys? Alright, so we got some big, juicy Sonic news, and I'm not talking about the Sonic Central. It's everything that came after that. That's what I was hoping for. You know, while all the Sonic Tubers were gearing up, you know, getting their live streams ready to live stream Sonic Central, I didn't do that. As you guys know, I don't really live stream like that. I haven't done it in years. But even if I were to live stream, I wouldn't live stream the Sonic Central because I knew there wasn't going to be anything hype in it, you know? So I was like, it's not the Sonic Central that I care about. It's what's coming after. Because you know how Sega is with leaks. If Sega were plumbers, they'd be the worst plumbers ever, you know? So they cannot prevent leaks if their life depended on it. And there's a lot of Sonic Frontiers update 3 DLC leaks that I have to share. And obviously, you know, Sonic Origins Plus came out yesterday, but no one cares about that. I mean, I played it because, you know, I love the classics, but I'm just talking about the compilation. You guys don't care about that, though. You came here to hear the juicy news. So I'll get to all of that soon, but be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's hit 100k subs this year. Matter of fact, I'll wait. I'll wait until you guys hit that subscribe button because I know I got a lot of viewers who aren't subbed or they forgot to sub and they watch me. So I'll give you guys a minute. All right, you ready? All right, let's begin. Okay, so first let's talk about that Sonic Central. Now, I saw a lot of people that were disappointed. There are even some uh, Smash tubers or former Smash tubers, you know, that are in the Smash Bros community that live stream Sonic Central 2. They thought it was going to be some hype shit like Nintendo Direct. And then they were very disappointed saying, this sucked. This was mid. And it's like, I don't know. You guys had high expectations. Now, let's be real. The first Sonic Central in 2021, that will always be the best one. Because we got more surprises. You know, Colors Ultimate, Frontiers Teaser, Origins Announcement, etc. This Central was at least better than the rushed one last year. But nothing we didn't already know, you know, hopefully nobody had high expectations, but I know they did You know, uh, the the one last year my opinion was the worst some people think this one was the worst and last year's was better But I don't know man last year a lot of people were just <laughs> Worried for Sonic Frontiers because of that terrible first impression we got on IGN and the Sonic Central came out right after that and it was just rushed and then you know It was like less than 10 minutes and then they just pointed everyone you know, redirected everyone to go watch the Sonic Frontiers previews on IGN. And we're like, no, why are you promoting that? IGN's preview put Sonic Frontiers in such a bad light. And then for the Sonic Central to promote that was like, yikes. Like, the only hype thing I can remember they promoted was like two seconds of uh, Sonic Frontiers uh, prologue or something. Divergence, you know, that anime with Knuckles. But that was like two seconds. But I don't know. The first Sonic Central is the best one. That one is not going to be top because you guys got to understand that came out during a time of the pandemic. After the pandemic, we got absolutely no Sonic news in 2020 besides Sonic Movie 1. So there were so many rumors around that time. Like, are they making Sonic Adventure remakes or rumor 2D Dimps game? Remember that? The 2D Dimps game ended up becoming Sonic Superstars. There were so many rumors. A lot of people did not know anything about Colors Ultimate Origins and uh, Frontiers Teaser if you did not follow leaks. You know, I knew about Colors Ultimate because my insider uh, told me like months ago. And um, yeah, and I knew about Origins too. I didn't so much know about Frontiers, you know, I because we completely ignored those uh, leaks on Fortune. But yeah, if you didn't follow any of the leaks, you had no clue. I mean, that's like three new Sonic games, but I don't know why people now were expecting like Sega to port sonic unleashed or remastered the sonic advanced trilogy or the rush games it's like who told you this who the hell told you to have these high expectations like we're already getting three sonic games you know sonic origins plus 
Sonic Frontiers DLC, and the third one from what I'm about to reveal is going to be Hype, and obviously Sonic Superstars. That's three games. You know how many Mario games we're getting this year too? Three! Super Mario RPG coming in November, then uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder in October, and then also some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. So that's three. I, that Super Peach 2 and that, uh, what are you, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon HD, that's all coming next year. We don't know what Sonic games we're getting next year, and honestly, I would rather them just announce things like Superstars just months before it comes out, instead of over a year before it comes out, and then only for it to be delayed. That's what Nintendo does. Nintendo likes, uh, you know, announcing things way ahead of time. I don't like that. I like announcing things like what they did, what Sega did with Sonic Superstars or what Nintendo's doing tomorrow. I wonder. That's just me. So I don't know what some of you guys were expecting, but y'all need to chill. But basically, this Sonic Central was pretty much exactly the way I thought it'd go. You know, it covered almost everything in this 4chan leak. And this was a 4chan leak that I talked about last month, I think. Or I think the beginning of this month. And now, Sonic Superstars release date has been confirmed. My insider approved it too. At first, it was leaked on other Sonic News websites that it would be October 17th this year because it was uh, leaked on, you know, other game stores like GameStop, Best Buy, Target, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's legit. There's no way they will put that date, the same date, and it's a placeholder. I don't know why some people are saying it's a placeholder. No, placeholders are December 31st. If you guys wonder, anytime you're trying to pre-order a game and it says it's coming on the last day of the year, that's a placeholder, you know? But October 17th is so specific, so that is the date. But the craziest thing is that it's coming out three days before Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2. That's going to be a crazy week, guys. That's going to be officially known as Gamer Week. Everybody, if you're trying to cop all three, you're going to spend up to $200 minimum. Because every game is going to cost like $60, and that's not including tax, and that's not including deluxe version so good luck guys you, you better start saving your money right now especially if you go to school but yeah uh, i'm gonna try to cop at least two of those three games mario wonder and uh sonic superstars are going to be the two i don't have a ps5 yet but when i do i'm gonna have to get spider-man 2 but that's gonna be a lot of money now i know some people are like sega's crazy to release sonic superstars so close with uh mario wonder and spider-man 2 I mean, me personally, I would have preferred them to release it like a month earlier, but three days before is still great, you know? I think all three of these games are going to get Ws. These are my predictions. Spider-Man 2 is going to be the fastest selling game out of the three. Fastest. I mean, it's Spider-Man 2. You know, it's the type of game that people camp outside to get midnight release, like with God of War or Cyberpunk. 2077 or the last of us part two it's those kind of games you know spider-man 2 the story is just as exciting as the gameplay it's like you know all those type of games like batman arkham spider-man insomniac yeah that shit's going to get sold out fast if you didn't pre-order it or if you're not going to get it day one mario wonder is going to be the highest selling out of the three no one is going to be camping outside to get Mario Wonder, <laughs> you know, day one. No one has camped outside to get a platforming game in decades. Like, we're talking about, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Remember that? I think they called it, like, Sonic Tuesday. I forget. But, yeah, back then in the 90s, people were camping outside to get platformer games. Not these days. Uh, platforming games aren't hype like that. I mean, they're hype, but they're not like, you know, movie level where you have to go and get it day one. So Mario Wonder is not going to get that. However, Mario games always get a lot of sales, especially during the holidays, because, you know, families like to play the games. Parents like to get it for their kids. So, yeah, Mario Wonder may not sell as fast as Spider-Man 2 over the weekend, but it's definitely going to increase sales in the holidays. Yeah. Christmas holiday is going to steal that month, you know, and then it's going to end up being as high as maybe the new Super Mario Bros. games like new Super Mario Bros. Wii, the DS. It's going to make a lot. It may not make more than Odyssey, but it's going to make a lot of money because it's been over 12 years since we've had a new, you know, type of 2D side-scrolling Mario game. And then Sonic Superstars will also get a W. I think its sales are going to surpass Sonic Frontier sales. Yes, you heard me right. Now, some people were doubting me, but it's like, no, look. Sonic Frontiers, despite everything, sold pretty well. It's about to surpass Sonic Adventure 2, but it's nowhere near being the highest selling 3D Sonic game yet. And it had a very bad rocky start. The IGN preview made so many people doubtful. People that have never covered Sonic on their channel, like 
commentary channels like Optimus were making videos saying that Sega needs to delay this game because it looks very bad and empty. A lot of people, like I said, open world appeals to a huge market. And so a lot of those people were watching Sonic Frontiers and were hitting that dislike button. That's why he got a lot of dislikes because they didn't like what they saw. So the first half of the marketing campaign of Frontiers was bad. Don't forget that guys, before Sega started winning us over, Sonic Superstars didn't have any of that problem. The moment it came out, so many people, especially casuals, are so excited to play that game. Dashi is so excited to play the game too, and, and Dashi's barely excited to play a you know, modern Sonic game. I mean, he still plays it on his channel, like he did Sonic Frontiers, but he only does like one video of it, then moves on to the next game, you know? He's an old school gamer, he likes the classics. But he's excited to play Superstars as well as Mario Wonder, of course, he prefers Mario. But yeah, I have a feeling he might even complete Superstars or play with, with you know, a friend. So I've seen a lot of casuals who are like, I'm buying Superstars day one because they're comparing it to new Super Mario Brothers. And that's the market Azuka is aiming for, the casual market. And also, there was no controversy that came with this game when it started. There were some minor worries about the physics and, you know, is it going to be like the classics or play like Sonic 4? And those were immediately squashed by Azuka and Christian Whitehead, who gave it his stamp of approval. So yeah, it's just, it's night and day comparisons. I really feel like Superstars is going to surpass Frontiers in sales. But yeah, enough of that. Let's get to Sonic Frontiers now. The Spin Dash ain't the only thing returning in Frontiers. I talked about that in my community post and the Spin Dash is in the game. By the way, it's kind of crazy that, you know, Kishimoto makes you go out of your way and complete all the challenges in all five islands just to unlock the Spin Dash. And that's crazy. But here are all the new features that are going to be in the game. Now, Sonic Stadium says, Sonic Frontier's newest update, Sonic's Birthday Bash, has much more than costumes in the Spin Dash. A lengthy list of new features was posted to Steam, from decelerated stopping to cyberspace ability tracking. We've got the full list here. So, the islands have been decorated for Sonic's birthday. Of course, we saw that in the trailer. And Sonic has a new costume to go with it. All right. You'll also find another new costume, Frontier Elite. I think you'll unlock that after you complete all the challenges, I think. The Coco will now appear in different costumes across the island. There are now 24 new jukebox songs hidden in the game. I think they're going to do this for every update. I think the next update they're going to, you know, release more songs to unlock. You can now play a new game plus, restarting the game with all your stats and skill tree unlocks. You know, I always wanted that. I haven't played Frontiers yet, so I haven't played the new update, but I can't wait to play a new game being all maxed out. That's that's going to be so funny. You can unlock and use Sonic Spin Dash, of course. The open zone areas have new challenges. I was seeing Fidel rage at that. Island completion percent is now available on multiple screens. Cyberspace level results will show colored marks based on which special abilities you've used, including the homing dash, the spin dash, changing jump deceleration, and cyberspace power boost. That's cool. There are additional settings for rate of jumping deceleration, dramatic camera angles during special attacks. That's cool. I mean, I love the dramatic camera angles when you're fighting, but now you can remove that just like the mods on Steam. That's cool. Decelerate when stopping, maintain boost when jumping, background music change in cyberspace stages. That's cool. I love the cyberspace stages. I mean, majority of the tracks in cyberspace I love. But it's still cool that you can change them. And clearing your times in time challenge mode such as cyberspace levels. Rhea Island's towers have been rebalanced for easy difficulty. Other bug fixes. So that's pretty cool, man. That's a lot. I think these are a lot of quality of life updates that Kishimoto gave. And this is all just from talking to the fans. He listens, man. I really love what Kishimoto is doing. I can't wait to see the next game he directs. I don't know if they're going to add more quality of life updates in update 3. Because from what I've seen in the leaks, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's get to update three now. All right, so Blue Wolf here says, so I can confirm that some of the story script for update three is within the files at the moment. I do not plan to release or share this content at all. If you find it, please do not share it publicly. Animations are one thing, but a whole story script shouldn't be shared. I got you guys. I'm going to share that too, but I'm putting a huge spoiler warning. If you do not want to be spoiled, stop watching. Now, he also says, oh my God, Tails, Amy, and Knuckles are fully implemented in the game. They're player packs at least. They have their animations and everything for update three. I mean, just look at this. I'm no computer modder or hacking expert, but... These just sound like very sensitive files, very important files in the game. Now, there's a lot of animations of every character. Here are all the animations of Tails. You can see Tails running animation, his flying animation, and all of that. I'm going to post all right here. Then you see Amy. 
Amy has her hammer attack. She also has a tarot card attack. That's crazy, man. They're actually giving her abilities with her tarot cards. That's cool. I didn't expect that at all. I thought they were just going to give her her Pico Pico hammer abilities. So that is cool. And then Knuckles has his cool abilities here. Climbing, gliding, wall crawling, all that. Just great, great stuff. Now the story script, it was hard for me to find, but I had a friend of mine uncover it. So there's some things I want to show here. I mean, because Sega really cooked. Now these are some random quotes that are going to be in the update three. All right, time to find some emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds always wound up in the Ancients' vaults. Let's look there. Nothing yet. I'll keep looking. Securing emeralds and vaults? What will they think of next? Don't rush me. I'm looking. Wait, it's not here? Why isn't it here? The vault I found was empty. I'll try another. You should too. We have to find those emeralds. What good are these vaults if they don't do their job? I'll find them. It's just a matter of time. Another empty one? This isn't working. I need to try from another angle. All the vaults are empty. Wait, you have a lead? Tell me what you find. I'm out of ideas. I'll keep brainstorming. What if someone beat us to them? Rouge, the Babylon rogues. They better not have or I'll bust them up. Ugh, forget the vaults. I'll find them the old fashioned way. You search from however you want. Now, sadly, I don't know who's saying which line. These are just lines that are going to be in the game. And there's more dialogue. I think that thing is trying to create more defense thingies. I'll keep hunting them down. You get us those emeralds. Don't stop now, Tails. We're counting on you. Maybe that's Sonic that says that. We've cleared the way for you, kid. Finish it. I know that's Knuckles that says that. Knuckles calls Tails kid. Darn, that weakened it. But it's still holding on to the emeralds. Arc so close. One more should do it. So it looks like it's fleshed out stories within the story of Frontiers, but from each character's point of view. So I don't know if this takes place after the events of Frontiers or during when the characters are, you know, in their ghost form. But the story in the DLC will take place in a new area we haven't seen before. And it's going to be attached to Uranus. So Uranus Island, there's a new attachment that we haven't seen before that's going to feature the DLC. That's amazing. Just when you thought Uranus was the biggest island yet, it's only going to get bigger. Also, looks like Amy has a cyber state and a normal state. If you see her gameplay here, she's in her cyber form. If this hasn't changed, then it gives us a rough idea of how the last act will now play out. I don't understand the whole cyber corruption bit at the start. Kind of makes the gang removing Sonic's corruption pointless if he just says, no, give it back but it will split the storyline. Sonic goes on to do a boss rush, while the other characters do what Sonic currently does on the last island, maybe they do it on their own islands. Not really much evidence for either one. Sonic fights the essence of each of the ancients that piloted the titans. From the dialogue it sounds like he is repeating each titan fight, then finds the essence of that one ancient that was the leader of the civilization and they turn his cyber corruption into a power-up. This could mean we get a cyber form to play as, but this would mean the ending cutscene would be completely redone. A lot more work than I'm used to for a free update. Sonic then meets up just as the end has taken an interest in the gang and they are struggling to fight off all the enemies. We then presumably do the same final two fights as before, though I hope that changes. So yeah, that's all the digging I've done so far. I'm pretty sure once I post this video, there's going to be more new information. But there you have it, folks. Those are all the details I've gotten so far for update three of Sonic Frontiers. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for the final update of Sonic Frontiers and also update two? Tell me what you think about it. And also, what are your thoughts about Sonic Superstars coming out on October 17th? Are you going to cop the game? Or are you going to wait on it? Which one are you going to get first out of the three games? Superstars, Wonder, and Spider-Man 2. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. So take care. And until next time, I'm out.